Yo, boys, what is going on? It is your boy Nick from the Foot Market. I just screamed into the mic, but it's because you guys are getting a really good video, and I'm excited to bring you guys this video. Now, I wanted to get this out earliest as possible uh, to you guys so you guys could see it and understand it and kind of get a better grasp of what's going on with all this because I know there's been talk about it through the grapevine, and you guys are curious, and I'm going to bring you guys. Uh, that information because you deserve it. Um, if you enjoy the video today, drop me a thumbs up and just let me know in the comments because I do love looking at the comments. Players that you guys are excited for to get winter upgrades. That's all I'm asking for. So we're going to be talking today about winter upgrades. Now, in before the whole comment section says, Nick, it's called ratings refresh. Nick, it's ratings refresh. Okay. All right. Today, we're going to be talking about ratings refresh. FIFA 19. Okay. Ratings refresh today. I'll title it for you guys so you get happy. And you don't have to correct me, okay? Sound good? All right, fist bump. Anyways, um, ratings refresh is what we're going to be discussing today with you guys. It's something that on FIFA is a very big deal. Um, it's going to be coming in probably about a month from now. But I wanted to get you guys started. And because they're doing everything so early this year, right? This is what I want to explain, right? Team of the year this year was two weeks early. Um, this could be coming in like two to three weeks. So it's not going to be on Friday with this new promo. Um, but it should be coming up pretty soon, I think. So I wanted to get a video out sooner than later for you guys, just discussing what it's gonna, you know, what what's gonna come with it, what it means, uh, and all that good stuff because that's important for me and your guys' happiness is important for me. So I'm gonna just show you guys really quickly what's going on here, how this works. So this is FIFA 18 ratings refresh. This is the first one. This is the Premier League. So how it works essentially is that players who are performing well uh, in the season, right? Players that are doing well. Uh, for their clubs, they receive a ratings refresh, so they receive an upgrade. So you guys say, yay, EA makes more money, right? They get to throw a promo of the same players in packs for a week with a boosted rating, and, and everybody's inflated, and people go and buy them. Yay, right? Well, there's a way that you guys can make coins off this as well, and I'm going to try to explain that with you guys today. And it's not something you need to do yet. I just want to put the information in your head so you can understand and take advantage of some of these opportunities in the next few weeks, okay? That's all we're doing today. So um, here's what we have here. So it's starting on February 23rd. Hundreds of foot 18 players will have their ratings permanently updated as a part of ratings refresh. Only new basic player items found in packs will have updated ratings, but certain existing informs uh, will have the ratings automatically updated to reflect the ratings refresh. So the first one will be a David De Gea. Uh, this was from last year, so he goes from a 90 to 91. So you guys see how it is, right? All these guys are getting upgrades. Now, a guy like KDB, right? He gets a big upgrade. You guys know KDB has special cards. So what does that do to his special cards? Well, ladies and gentlemen, well, 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 do you know what it does to his special cards? I'll show you guys right now. Um, so what happens last year to Kevin De Bruyne's special card? And this is how it works. Okay, thank you, Footman, for that. We appreciate that one. Um, let's go to Nations. We'll go to Belgium. If This is not even working right now. Okay, we're going to pull up Belgium. Okay, so Kevin De Bruyne. Now, gold card 89. First inform was 90. First inform was 91. Okay, look what happens with the ratings refresh. Now you guys see why I'm making this video, don't you? Okay, because look what happens when there's a winter upgrade. Kevin De Bruyne's inform goes from a 90 to a 92. You guys know what that means? Money, money. There's money to make because informs are getting upgraded out of packs. So they're basically new informs and everyone wants to go use them because they're like, oh my God, he got an upgrade. I got to go use this dude. Or, oh my gosh. Uh, you know, run, Nick running for market said this guy's crazy because he got an upgrade now, all right? So that's how this stuff works. And that's why I want you guys to understand how it works because there's money to be made. You know what I'm saying, guys? When you guys smell money, we got to make money. So um, that's the concept of all of it. And, and, and more of the meta players that get upgraded um, really see some rise on their informs. You know what I'm saying, guys? So that is something that I would take a look at. And the reason why I wanted to really, really make this video today is because what we can do is I can show you guys when the upgrade hype builds now the upgrade hype i'll tell you guys right now on this FIFA, there's been no upgrade hype yet but this is what i want you guys to see check this out this is the hype for winter upgrades you see this this is the hype so this is team of the year and this is what the hype of winter upgrades does because everyone's like oh my god the bruins getting a plus two that's at 190k jump almost 200k in about a month okay that's very substantial and you guys can see it it's all, i think it's all around the board with all the special cards last year so let me take a look here. Yep. 614, 700, and 800K. This guy goes to 800K. So that's exactly what I'm saying to you guys. So we're going to start to look right now at some players. I did a video on this on my second channel a little while back that are getting some upgrades this year. Now, you obviously have a lot of substantial, substantial upgrades last year. Another player that I would actually really like you guys to go look at right now with me before we go look at this year because I want to show you guys some players that are already getting upgrades this year. Um, another player from last year that got insane upgrades and... 
And I'm going to try to explain to you guys how this stuff works because it's very, 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 very confusing and not everyone understands it. So hopefully Sterling's going to come up. Of course, Sterling doesn't come up. I don't, I don't know how, how this thing works because I search a player's name and it doesn't come up. Um, anyways, so, okay, that makes no sense. Anyways, so we're going to go here. We're going to try to find Sterling. Where are you, Raheem? Uh, you're on the second page because you are not that high rated. Well, he's actually got a... I'm, I'm stupid for that. I think he had a team of the season. No? Did he not have a team of the season? Yeah, he did. Okay, so this was his first inform, and it was an 84 rated. Mm-hmm. You guys see that? 84 rated. Everybody taking notes right now. You guys watch this? So he was an 84 rated um, last year, and he was about 80 to 90K most of the year. And because... No, this inform was 84 rated. Sorry, he was an 82 goal card. So he got a plus two with winter upgrades, which means... Take a look. The upgrade hype, man. You guys see this? So he went up a lot, right? Like he went up a lot. Um, you know, so that's that's just something I want you guys to see that he went up a lot. Um, he went up from like 90 to about 120. So people were buying into the fact that this could go to an 86 rated. So now I'm here to tell you guys how this stuff works. So here's how it's going to work. And I'm going to give you a few examples. And then we're going to look at some players who are getting some upgrades this year. Let's pull up a team like the, let's pull up a league like the Premier League. All right, so let's get the Premier League up right here for you guys. And what we'll do is we will look at, okay, guys, why is this so glitchy today? Excuse me, excuse me. Okay, let's look at a player like, um, let's look at a player because I want to get a player that's maybe not that obvious for upgrades. All right, so like Lukaku, right? Now this, okay, well, you guys are going to meme me because Lukaku's not getting an upgrade. But say Lukaku's getting a plus one upgrade, right? So that would mean that his inform, because this is going to 88, would go to an 89. You understand that? So this would get a stat upgrade. That's how the upgrades work with an 87 rated player. Now with an 80, let's go with like a, let's go with a little bit lower rated of a player because I want to show you guys the impacts of like a lower rated player, what happens to them because it's confusing. So let's go with an 83 rated player like Tony Martial, right? Let's say Tony Martial gets a plus one in an upgrade, okay? Let's say he gets a plus one. He will go to an 84 rated. Now, you're probably thinking this wouldn't change. This changes. This goes to an 86 rated. The reason for that is because every 84 rated gold card in this game, if you go look at team of the weeks, they get an 86 rated. It's the formula. 84 rated gold cards get an 86 rated team of the week. Okay? Now, let's say Martial gets a plus two. A plus two. So he's going to go to 85 rated with winter upgrades. Let's say he's balling out. He's going to get a plus two. Does that mean this goes to an 87? Not necessarily. That's the one ground that I'm not sure about, and that's up to EA. I'm pretty sure this would only go to an 86 rated because 85 rated cards get 86 rated informs, I believe. That's the, that's the process of it. That's how they work. You guys kind of get that. So that's, that's kind of how those work. So that would be an example of a lower tier player that, you know what I'm saying? So that, that would make sense. Now, let's pull up a player like Marcus Rashford. Um, Rashford has an 81 rated gold card this year. So, let's say that Rashford gets a plus two. He goes to an 83 rated, right? His blue would go to an 84, assuming that blues are going to get upgraded. I'm not sure if they're going to. Um, his inform would go to an 85, because 83 rated cards get 85 rated informs. Do you guys understand that? So, it wouldn't go, just because the gold, just because the gold is getting a plus two, or something like that, it doesn't always mean that they're going to get a plus two on the inform. It's all dependent on the rating system, and how the formula goes. If Rashford gets a plus three on this, he goes to an 84 rated with winter upgrades. The inform will go to an 86. Understood? So that's that's the concept of it. Um, so I want you guys to understand that because once you get once you get that down, once you get the concept of how the upgrades actually work, you guys are golden. You guys are making a lot of coins. Um, so that's how they would work, right? If if Andy, let me give you an example. If Andy Robertson got a plus one inf, plus one on his gold card, if he goes to an 82 rated, I don't think his inform moves. To be honest with you guys, I think it stays as an 84 because 82s get 84 rated informs. Um, so I think that's kind of all that would happen uh, with, with the inform. I think. I'm not positive, but I think. And now that that is sometimes up to EA. EA was a little weird last year and sometimes they upgraded cards like really randomly and nobody knew why. That's just up to EA. Not a lot of us can really control when EA is upgrading cards or when they're not upgrading cards. We don't always know. And that's the confusing part about this damn company because half the time what the decisions they're making, just nobody even understands why they're doing some certain things or understands why upgrades are happening, right? It's very confusing. It's a whole process. Um, and that's how EA works. So what I wanted to do is just briefly start off with you guys and show you guys a few players that this year are receiving insane upgrades and just times to look out for buying them. Um, 
because I think that's important. First one is Mbappe. Mbappe is actually going to get an 88 rated card, apparently with winter upgrades, and I could see EA told it. Now, this is so FIFA, by the way. This is a website that basically gives, like, ratings for career mode, so that's, that's kind of most of the time. Now, it's not directly, cor like, it's not a direct comparison, but most of the time EA gets the majority, and you can start to see the upgrades from this website. So, Mbappe is going to be an 88 rated, which means that his inform on the market, right, if we were going to the market, if you're going to go on to FIFA, it would make sense that... Uh, his inform on the market would be going to an 89 rated, if you guys kind of understand that. Because if his gold's going to an 88 rated, this has to go to an 89 rated because it has to get a plus one. Now, it doesn't mean the team of the year is going to get upgraded. So, all the guys sitting there saying, Nick, is my team of the year going to get upgraded? No, it's not going to get upgraded, okay? So, that's one. Um, like, so Rashford's going to be an 82 rated. So, for me, I'm not, I don't think that, I don't think it's going to move his inform at the rate that it's at right now because it's only going to an 82, it's only a plus one. And because the 82 rated cards in this game get 84 rated informs, for me, it's not going to push up his card. But there's a few cards that I wanted to look at with you guys that are getting pretty mad upgrades. Um, Depay is one of them. Depay is getting a plus one. It's not a mad upgrade, but it means his inform is going to go to an 86. And Depay's got a lot of hype. So I would say, take a look at Depay. Um, he's one of the ones that I was definitely interested in when I was looking on his website. One that I think a lot of you guys might enjoy as an upgrade is Richarlison. Richarlison, I'm gonna I'm gonna talk talk to you guys about a few rated, few cards that I'm looking at that are getting upgraded. So Richarlison is set for an upgrade um, that is gonna make his card uh, it's gonna make his card an 81 rated. Sorry, an 80 rated from a 77. So that's a plus three. So that means that this card is gonna go to an 83 rated minimum. So Richarlison is gonna have an 83 rated special card. That's a minimum. It might be a little bit higher rated. I'm not positive, but a minimum of 83 rated is what his special card will look like. Um, other cards that I've been seeing that are looking uh, promising for upgrades. Sonaldo, Son, Son looks like he's going to get an 85 rated card, um, and then this is going to his his champion should go to an 86. His striker should go to an 80, uh, 87. So this should get a little bit of an upgrade as well. There, are, I got to warn you guys. There's a few crazy ones in this that I've seen, and I'm not really sure what to think about them. There's a few crazy ones. The first crazy one that I've seen is Marco Royce. I now, I, I don't know if we've ever really seen a plus three on a player like this, but he's set to get a plus three. I don't know if that's going to happen. It could. They're saying 88 rated. So I would say that this is definitely going to get a plus two, maybe a plus three. So if he gets a plus three, this is going to go to a, this is going to be a 90 rated card um, because this goes to an 88. First inform goes to an 89. Second goes to a 90. Champions League will be an 89 as well. Um, what I would tell you guys specifically with this card, um, a lot of people are buying into this because of player of the month. For Bundesliga Player of the Month. This would be one of my main targets where if he doesn't get required in Bundesliga Player of the Month, I would clean it all up, man. I would, if you're a guy that's going away for a month or you want to make big coins in a month, I would clean this up at whatever price it's at and sell for a big profit. Remember with the upgrade, guys, always sell into the hype. Don't let the card stats change. It's the same thing in ones to watch where you want to sell into people buying these cards. You don't want to sell to people, you know, when when the upgrade happens because you guys know with ones to watch, when the upgrade happens, the cards die. It's just how they work. Um, so that's something that I would say I would keep in mind. Um, other players that I really, really think are worth mentioning in here is Van Dyke. I know this is a very popular card for you guys, and you guys like this card a lot. Um, Virgil Van Dyke is set for an 87 rated winter upgrade. So it's going to get a plus two, which means this is going to go to an 88, and this is going to go to an 89. Now, I don't know what that means for the team of the year. He might get upgraded way back in the day. I think PK got an upgrade in FIFA 17, the team of the year. I doubt it. I'm not sure what it's going to do to this card. I would assume that this would get upgraded as well. But again, I've never really seen... You know, that kind of tier of card get upgraded. So, you know, it's for me that that's tough to that's tough to really know. Now, what we'll be doing on the channel for you guys, man, as well, is there's a ton of other players that are set for upgrades uh this winter. There's David Silva getting an upgrade. Um, I'm just looking briefly at some of the players here. Um Obamiang. So Obamiang's gonna see his Obamiang's gonna see an inform upgrade as well because he's gonna go to 88 rated, 89 rated inform would be the will be the move. What I will do for you guys is Starting in the next few weeks, I think as we get closer, because these are not until February, I wanted to just get this video out so you guys kind of get a... I like getting information out to you guys in this channel so you guys know what's going on in the future. What I will do is I will do league-by-league league specific videos for you guys on, on players that are getting upgrades. Um, so you guys can come to the channel every other day and see league-by-league league, who are some players that are going to get big upgrades and players that I can personally look at you know, to make some coins off of or get in with the informs. Hopefully this video helped you guys today. I wanted to get you guys with a brief understanding of how this stuff works. Um, thank you guys for tuning in and watching the video and I'll see you guys in the video soon. Peace out.